Joining me now is retired Major Richard Ojeda, current state senator in West Virginia, and one of the toughest Democrats in the country, as we've said over and over on the show. Richard, welcome back to the program. Hey, yeah, thank you. All right, so Richard, you're in an impossible race. The folks that do this for a living say it's a district that is favors Republicans by 23 points, but that actually undertells the story. The uh, last uh, Republican in that race won by 44 points in that district, and Donald Trump won the district by over 50 points. Um, so, uh, how much are you down? 20, 30, or 40 points? Oh, uh, <laughs> I think in some polls we're actually up. <laughs> so, uh, how'd you do that? Oh, well, you know, we put boots on the ground. Uh, I'm not scared to say what needs to be said. I think that the people uh, relate to me. Um, you know, my opponent uh, does not do uh, any town hall uh, meetings or anything like that. I do live videos all the time. I put boots on the ground. Uh, we've got uh, an amazing uh, group of volunteers uh, from you know all over uh, the state that is doing door knocking, phone calls. We we knock on uh, six thousand doors a week and uh, over twenty thousand phone calls. So you know we're going nonstop and we're going to keep doing this until election day. All right, well, you said boots on the ground, but you know, you've got 16 medals from the Army uh, and four badges, including my favorite, the Air Assault Badge. So I wanted to show what an air assault looks like in the form of a TV commercial that you're running uh, in this campaign. So I want to go to uh, video six here, and uh, this is some of the ads that uh, electrified not just your district, but the country. Let's watch. I'm Richard Ojeda, and I've been under fire multiple times in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. Tattooed on my back are the names of my brothers that did not come home. Now, my military record and my love of this country has come under fire once again by Carol Miller. How dare she, a millionaire who has enjoyed a life of privilege under the very freedoms that I have fought for. I approve this message because I love this country and I'm willing to fight for it, and you. Richard, do you know that people are now working out to uh, your ads? <laughs> it's all about health. <laughs> Can you say Carol Miller one time for me live? Carol Miller. <laughs> I love it. So, but let's talk about the background of that of that ad. Uh, why did you do that particular ad? What had they said about you that made you do that? They've attacked my military service. Uh, you know, and it's a shame that. That's you, you know you get the loudest attacks from the people who've never picked up a rifle and manned a post. You know, let me tell you something. I would get on a plane tonight if I got the phone call tonight that said, "Hey, we need you to go anywhere on the face of this earth to support and defend the Constitution against the United uh, for the uh, for the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic." I would kiss my wife on the forehead and I would leave tonight without any question and go and 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 and, and give my life if need be. And I love this country, and I want them to fight for it. And it's just it's it's sad when 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 people like that, uh, you know, attack us. Yeah, and so they do it for the defense contractors because they get uh, paid on these wars. Uh, but the reality is, uh, uh, Richard has not only served in Iraq in uh, two thousand four, two thousand seven, but volunteered to go back to Afghanistan in twenty ten. So that is not an exaggeration what he tells you right there. He lived it. So uh, now let's talk about uh, what issues have worked for you. Because so that's the district that is uh, one of the most uh, conservative districts in the country. Uh, but yet you've closed the lead and, and you know, depending on the poll, it looks like it's about a tie right now. Uh, so uh, what's resonating with those conservative and independent voters in that district? Well, you know, I, I'm standing with the working class citizens. You know, this started uh, with, you know, uh, the teacher strike. You know, basically, you're talking about people here who who they, they, they don't want the workers to have a seat at the table. We got to get back to, to taking care of you know, the working class. We need to support our unions out there. Uh, you know, I believe in taking care of our elderly. We've got to stop allowing people to stick their hand in the cookie jar of Social Security. I want to raise the cap and even do away with it. Because the truth is, the average income in West Virginia is 44000 Everybody pays into Social Security with every dime they bring into the household anyway. So it wouldn't bother me at all to raise the cap on that. 
Uh, I want to take care of our sick. You know, we have an opioid epidemic that has ripped our communities apart, and there's not one single family that hasn't been directly addressed with that, or affected with that. So these are some of the major fights that I'm that I'm trying to do. And on top of that, I'm trying to bring capabilities to West Virginia because you know I want to bring you know IT capabilities. Our kids are graduating from high school and college, and they have to immediately leave because we don't have no jobs for them here at home, and we got to change that. And so, Democrats nationally are usually reluctant to call out the personal corruption of their opponents. But in the, you mentioned the opioid epidemic there, and in your ads, you specifically talk about how Carol Miller takes money from some of the companies responsible. So, why'd you decide to do that, and and do you think that that's fair? Well, you know, she owns stock in McKesson. That's just one of the companies. That's one of the bigger companies here in West Virginia that threw the nine million pain pills on a small pharmacy in Kermit. You know, six point five pain pills on a small pharmacy here in Logan. And and you know, you go and you point out pharmacies, and it'll, there'll there'll be a, a certain amount of pills going to those areas right there. Uh, you know, she's a person that stands up and says she's going to fight the opioid epidemic, but it's the one that she's benefit from. I have no problems calling anyone out. You know, we've lost more people in the last two years than all the lives lost during the Vietnam War. So, you know, who's the real enemy here? You know, as a person who's deployed, you know, to Iraq and Afghanistan on multiple occasions, Al Qaeda and the Taliban have not even scratched the surface of the damage that's been done with Big Pharma. So it's time for us to start standing up to Big Pharma and stop allowing those lobbyists to go into our capitals at the state and national level and, and basically grease the pockets to gain their security. Unacceptable. So it seems to me that Caramel is basically coasting off of the fact that people are used to voting for Republican. Because has she done any town halls, that debates? What's she done? She's done no town halls. She has already turned down six debates, and we're talking about debates at Marshall University, news agencies trying to do debates. Uh, she doesn't answer her phone. Uh, you know, myself, like I said, I do live videos. I try to go to as many places as possible. I believe that if you're running for office, you should have the guts to stand in front of the people and answer their questions. I let people know. I don't know the answers to all the questions, you know, but I will surround myself with intelligent people so that when I do make a decision, I'm educated in that topic so that I can guarantee myself that I'm going to help, not hurt. So I want to run one more ad of yours because this is part of why she might be scared to debate you. Let's watch. I'm Richard Ojeda, and people say that I'm angry. Well, angry is an understatement. When I come home and I find that I got children in my backyard that have it worse than the kids that I saw in Iraq and Afghanistan, I can't accept that. When I see companies using bankruptcy loopholes to keep from paying our coal miners the pensions that they work for, I will not sit quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been sold out. We've been sold out by people like Nancy Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, and the Washington Insiders. I approve this message because I am angry and I'm ready to fight back. Is she gonna show up after that? <laughs> so we had a theory on the Young Turks, Richard, that uh, that uh, somebody said before that, out here come Ojeda, and the town cleared out. That's why there was nobody else in the background. <laughs> All right. Uh, so look, I, I love that fighting attitude. Uh, can you put, look? I, can you promise me that if you win? That you will go with me to Washington and teach other progressives how to fight like that? Let's do it. Absolutely. Yeah, God, I love it. Uh, it's about time somebody fought for us. And, and I don't mean just progressives, I, and, and, and certainly not just Democrats, because you called out Nancy Pelosi there too. Uh, no, I mean the actual citizens, right? The, and, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, I, I want to talk about one, one more thing related to uh, Carol Miller because of that. So uh, Donald Trump came uh, to town to support her. So uh, that's the one time she showed up in public uh, was to get his adulation. Now Trump is still popular in West Virginia, unfortunately. Uh, and then he went and uh, called you, what was it, a crazy wacko or something? Stone cold crazy wacko. <laughs> so how do you respond back to Donald Trump? Hey, you know, I, I, what I say is, you know, if I'm stone cold crazy because I can't stand that we've got children that go to bed hungry at night, that we have an opioid epidemic that has ripped apart our communities and has killed thousands of West Virginians, that we've got elderly people that have to cut their medicine in half to make it from month to month, then I'll be a stone cold crazy wacko because that's what I'm going to fight for. Yeah, um, and I love the idea, the irony of him calling anybody else a wacko. Uh, but I think he's a little afraid of you, and that that I don't blame him for. Uh, <laughs> so uh, one more thing, if you're in Congress, um, 
uh, how are you gonna fight to get money out of politics? Because I mean, that's why we have the Carol Millers of the world that just sit up in their uh, castles and, and, and take all the, the money and, and corruption and raise all that money uh, and then do favors for those guys. How do you fight to get money out of politics? Well, number one, we need to overturn Citizens United. That's number one. And number two, have the courage to point people out. You know, I don't. Want, I don't want someone to sit and say that they're going to fight the opioid epidemic. I don't care if they're Republican, Democrat, Independent. If they're taking money from Big Pfizer or not Big Pfizer, but Big Pharma, then they're part of the problem. You know, people have to understand. If it was up to me, I'd put a body camera on every single lobbyist that walks into every office. I think that the people deserve the right to see what truly goes on behind the scenes as well. God damn, I love that. I had never thought of that. What an unbelievable idea to put a body camera on not just the cops, but on the lobbyists, okay? <laughs> but not. And let every single person be able to tune in and, and check out who visits each and every one of their senators, their congressmen. That's right. Watch, gets to watch the conversation. Look, put them on, and we're fair, man. Put it on the people going to visit Republicans. Put it on people visiting Democrats, Absolutely. okay? Absolutely, let's find out what these lobbies some bitches are saying, right? And the deals that are that they're making. You gotta win in Logan. You gotta win in Logan, Richard. And it, it's We're so right now it's a dead heat, guys. Uh, and and so the website is voteojetta.com. Uh, but you can also do the small dollar donations. He's been taking all along while she's taking the big donations. But right now, most important thing is volunteers. Voteojeta.com slash volunteer. You gotta go knock on doors, you gotta make phone calls. Make sure you turn out people to vote uh, right now in West Virginia. All right, uh, Richard Ojeda, thank you so much for joining us on Rebel Headquarters where you belong. Hey, thank you guys. The TYT Plus app is now available on iOS and Android. Download to get more TYT content at tyt.com slash app.